as an instructor all the classes associated with your profile will be listed in the lower section of the page these are classes which you have access to as an instructor which means you are able to add and modify content in this class as well as manage the gradebook and other aspects of the classroom to get to the class overview section for any class we start by simply clicking on the name of the class the class overview section will provide you with a list of activities within the class the grading categories associated with the class and various tabs with various which links to various features in the platform associated with this specific classroom we firstly have curriculum which which is what we're looking at here which provides you with the list of activities in the classroom activities could be participation activities uh, quiz tests and so on these are a mirror of the grade categories that we are looking at in the lower section of this page the gradebook allows you to view and manage all grades in the class you are also able to see the list of students in the class along with the mapping of all the activities that have grades associated with them the collaboration section allows you to host a live online classroom this is very similar to the calendar in that you click on the add event button to your right to trigger the dialog box for creating the collaboration event once you have created a collaboration event you need only click on the name of the collaboration event to start the collaboration event once this is started you are able to start and lead a new live session or view a session from the list of archived sessions the live online session provides you with various tools for hosting the classes online we will cover that in a later video the attendance register allows you to maintain an attendance register for your class the students are listed on the left and the calendar is lifted, listed on the right you have the ability to mark all students as present changing only that which is necessary afterwards and also the ability to save the changes made to the register the students section shows your list, list of the students on the system as well as their email address and primary phone number it also shows you their enrollment date the information tab provides you with information about the course the communication log provides you with logs communication logs that have been entered for a specific student you can start a new entry by clicking on the new entry button and providing details as is required by the parameters provided in the form now we are currently in the course overview section and all the options just mentioned are accessible to you in the course overview section to preview any activity you simply click on the preview icon to the right of the activity this is currently an image of a magnifying glass 
Once you click on this image, you'll be taken to the preview section, which allows you to navigate the course, the activity, sorry. To edit the course or to add additional content or material to the course, we need to be in the course edit mode. To get to the course edit mode, we click either the name of the course once we're inside the course overview section or the icon directly beside the name of the course in the course overview section. Once that is done, we are taken to the edit course section where we will see the activities are presented in a slightly different manner. We will also realize that we now only have three tabs. One for the list of activities, another for standard, and another for grading categories. Clicking on the grading categories, we realize that it is a mirror of the grading categories we saw earlier. However, if we wish to extend this list of grade categories, we are able to select all and then check the grade category that we would like to include into our classroom and then click save. Once we have done that, the grade categories would now be added to our list of grade categories and made available for use in our course. To edit a course, we simply double click on the name of the course and we are taken to the course edit section. To create a new activity, we click on the new activity link that is just above the list of activities. To create a new activity, we will need to specify the name of the activity, the activity type, the category type, the grading period. To the right of the screen, we will see a prerequisite section. This prerequisite section allows us to control access to the activity. We are able to specify that students cannot access this activity until a specified date and specified time. We can also indicate that students must complete an activity before a specified date and a specified time. Once we have those prerequisites defined and in place, we are able to save our activity and as such creating a new activity. We will cover activities in a later video. For now, We'll go back to course, back to class, and those are the main features of the course section of the Blended Learning Management Platform.